Flee from all teachings Bible text, John chapter 2 verses 1 to end, And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there, and both Jesus was called, and his disciples, to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. His mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he said unto you, do it. And there were said there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three fakens apiece. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said unto them, Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and said unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifested forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. After this he went down to Capernaum, he, and his mother, and his brethren, and his disciples, and they continued there not many days. And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves, and the changers of money sitting, and when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep, and the oxen, and poured out the changers' money, and overthrew the tables, and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house an house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and would thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture, and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name, when they saw the miracles which he did. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men, and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. John chapter 2 verses 1 to 25 the concept of the old wine and the new wine, beloved, there is something unique I want you to achieve at the end of this lecture. It is a veritable truth, our Lord Jesus Christ throughout his advent spoke in parables. We all are aware, if the Father preaches against the drinking of wine, many people would say the teaching contradicts those of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is because our Lord Jesus Christ, on one occasion introduced the drinking of wine. Recall the statement of our Lord Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 5 verses 36 and 37, And he spake also a parable unto them, No man potteth a piece of a new garment upon an old, if otherwise, then both the new mocketh a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new agreed not with the old. And no man potteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles, and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. Luke chapter 5 verses 36 and 37 the above excerpt contains two parables and if I do not interpret them, no one can understand. The statement above does not center on real wine piracy. But think of this, if after being given the first wine, they found out that it was not tasteful, and later, another wine which was tasteful was given to them, would that not have been the opportunity to discard the old wine? This would have been the proper thing, but this, the people did not do because they were satisfied with the old wine. The new wine, i.e. The teachings of Christ was tasteful, but they were unable to drink, practice, it, since it was originally from above. The teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ were from above, hence they had no bearing on the teachings of the scribes and Pharisees. Since his teachings were from above, they confounded everybody, hence nobody found it easy to practice such teachings. The said impossibility continues till date, Hence you see the churches that proliferate the entire world worshipping and calling on Jesus only with their lips, without practicing an iota of his teachings. And it was on the day our Lord Jesus Christ changed water into wine that the whole world was convicted and condemned. 
Read Luke chapter 5 verses 38 and 39, but new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. No man also having drunk old wine straightway desireth new, for he said, the old is better. Luke chapter 5 verses 38 and 39. Aside from the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, all other teachings are adulterated, for they are the mixture of the New and Old Testaments. And since the entire world keeps to the adulterated teachings, it has to a great extent declined. But this kingdom shall continue to flourish, following the fact it keeps only to the New Teachings, New Testament. So, in the entire world, the only place where the new teachings and commandments are duly practiced is here in brotherhood of the cross and star, hence, you see us being greatly different from the church denominations. The entire world gets satisfied with the old wine, and ipso facto, does not need the new one any longer as affirmed in the scripture. So, there is no organization in the world that can be compared with brotherhood of the cross and star. The entire world is keeping to the norms of the old age, hence it is condemned. In the entire world, I know the minds of all men. So no one needs to report another to me. Before now, no one came to brotherhood to stay, instead, people came in for solutions to their problems. But the glorious manifestation of the kingdom has now taken a lot of people unawares. There is nobody who sees the Bible as the Ark of the Covenant of God, instead, people regard it as a book that can be used to do away with force, sickness, bad dreams, oppression bondage, etc. Nobody believes in the possibility of the manifestation of the word of God as written in the Bible. The words of the scripture are to be practiced. In order that you stay on the safe side, do not mix up the teachings of the old age with the teachings of the new age, which are Christ's teachings. A cause people, read Galatians chapter 3 verses 9 to 14, so then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Galatians chapter 3 verses 9 to 14. The Orthodox churches lack the Holy Spirit because they are under the law. And it is said, one cannot be justified by the law. Once you have faith in God, you are endowed with the Holy Spirit and you are blessed. Before now, the Orthodox churches affirmed the Holy Spirit ended on the day of Pentecost. Apart from the early disciples and apostles of Christ, all other people derailed from the path of rectitude, by trampling upon the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if the people of this world do not attach importance to the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, and refrain from doubting Him, they will suffer the consequences. Your status and attainment in life notwithstanding, if you violate the teachings of Christ, you are cursed. Read Galatians chapter 3 verses 15 to 25, Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant, yet if it be confirmed, no man disannulleth, or added thereto. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He said not, and to seeds, as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. And this I say, that the covenant, that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was four hundred and thirty years after, cannot disannul, that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore then severed the law? It was added because of transgressions, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid, for if there had been a law given which could have given life, Verily righteousness should have been by the law. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. 
but after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. Galatians chapter 3 verses 15 to 25. Most brotherhood of the cross and star members still live under the law. But it is worthy to note, I do not entertain any law apart from, love one another, here. When Nigeria was under colonial rule, all her affairs were piloted and regulated by foreigners. But upon her attainment of independence, the reverse became the case. She started piloting her own affairs. Now, we are a republic, everything about colonialism is dead and buried. We now operate our own unique administration, based on our environment and experiences. Therefore should any Nigerian be caught exhibiting any of the colonial norms, values, etc. the one would be accounted unworthy of this republic. In the same manner our Lord Jesus Christ came and shed his precious blood, so as to pave the way for the new age, which we are in now. His coming brought to not all the norms, values and teachings of the old age. Therefore if you go back to such things, you are not worthy of this new age. It is to this end, I always pity most of the secret societies, orthodox churches, prayer houses, etc. Who make use of the old teachings? If you have a relation who is still a member of such an organization, it is imperative that you advise him or her to change for the better. It is never too late to repent. Here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, we are not under the law, instead we stand by and love one another. Our hallmark, Abraham, by faith, offered his only son as a sacrifice to God. He again, by faith, gave one-tenth of his war booties to Melchizedek, and was blessed. Similar acts occur here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star today. So, it is by faith, we do everything in the kingdom. Love is our watchword here. It is equally the order of the day in the kingdom. Hence, instead of considering a person's years of membership, contribution and dedication in the kingdom before obliging to his request, we use love to do all things. But this is what lacks very much in orthodox churches. This we have done because we worship God in spirit and in truth. But this, the churches and people in the world have not done, and they cannot do because they are self-centered. The entire world has rejected our Lord Jesus Christ, hence it suffers severely today. Our Lord Jesus Christ told a Samaritan woman, God should best be worshipped in spirit and in truth. John chapter 4 verse 24 Why then do the people and churches of the world still embark on pilgrimages to Mecca, Jerusalem, Rome, etc.? The entire world is blind, as such it needs a person that sees to lead it. In the world, observances of traditions is the order of the day. But here in the kingdom, none of such things is needed. Therefore, if you are found indulging in them, the angel is always around to show you the way out. Of a truth, we do not identify with what obtains in the world. We are one in the kingdom without any form of distinction, preference, division, deprivation or inequality. Read John chapter 1 verse 17, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. As many as go by the laws of Moses, have perished. And in order that the children of God be redeemed, Brotherhood of the Cross and Star has come to lead all to the accurate knowledge of the truth. What Moses brought into the world had condemned the entire world, but the teachings of Christ have reproved and redeemed the entire world. If anything that has to do with Christianity is organized in Nigeria, a member of the Roman Catholic Church will be appointed the chairman or president, on the basis, the Roman Catholic was the first church ever established in the world. But the question is can a Satan be appointed chairman or president of a place, and the place will function? The knights, bishops, pastors, cardinals and the distinguished members of the other churches are members of secret societies. It was to this end, when one conference was held in Cameroon, a certain court member also went to attend the said conference. But when the church leaders in attendance resented him, when he was identified as a court member, he openly named most of them who were also members in several courts. He told them, it was only brotherhood members that do not belong to any of the groups. So aside from brotherhood of the cross and star, no other place worships God in spirit and in truth. Judging from the practices, behaviors and teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, is there any place in the world that emulates Christ? All the things men do are greatly different from the teachings which Christ brought to us. And this lends credence to the fact 
the entire world has rejected the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. In fact, but for the coming of brotherhood of the cross and star, the precious blood, which our Lord Jesus Christ shed, would have been to no avail. Read Matthew chapter 5 verses 43 and 44. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you, and persecute you. Matthew chapter 5 verses 43 and 44. Uphold sound teachings, our Lord Jesus Christ enjoined us not to resist evildoers. Matthew chapter 5 verse 39, neither should we hate them. Instead we are told to love and embrace them, so that we may resemble our Father who is in heaven. Moses on the other hand enjoined, we should resist our evildoers and hate them. But the question now is, which of the two teachings is more proper? The latter is practicable in the world as such, no place can be compared to brotherhood of the cross and star. It is to this end, you are warned against introducing any old practices into this unique kingdom. Read Galatians chapter 5 verses 1 to 5. Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I Paul say unto you, that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Galatians chapter 5 verses 1 to 5. Read Romans chapter 4 verse 13, For the promise, that he should be the heir of the world, was not to Abraham, or to his seed, through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. Ever since you came in here, have you seen the Father extract his lessons from the Old Testament? The kingdom is a new one as such, no old practices should be introduced into it. Once you are angry, you are under the law. Because at any point in time the spirit of anger takes control of you, you would start revenging and resisting evildoers. Upon all that was done to our Lord Jesus Christ, he was never perturbed. What then could be done to you, that is above what was done against Christ, and so would cause you to get angry with people? Read Galatians chapter 3 verses 27 to 29. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither born nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. Galatians chapter 3 verses 27 to 29. We are all one, therefore religious sycophants in the world have to get baptized and be prepared for the rulership of the Holy Spirit. Muhammad and our Lord Jesus Christ informed the Muslims and the Christians respectively of the coming of the Holy Spirit, but they took it for granted. Now they have all seen their folly. Once the desired oneness is accomplished, peace will prevail on earth. Read Matthew chapter 13 verses 24 to 30, another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field, but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat, and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tears also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tears? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, Would thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tears, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Matthew chapter 13 verses 24 to 30. It is what a man sows that he reaps. So, instead of imputing sins on people and resisting an evildoer, you need to mind your own business and leave people to their ways. This is what is tenable here in the kingdom. Any member of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, who happens not to be here again worshipping, has not resigned willingly but has been ejected by the angels, following his wrong deeds and misbehavior. Read 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 12 to 17. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech, 
and not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished, but their minds were blinded. For until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 12 to 17 Beloved, have you now realized why the Old Testament is not tenable here in the kingdom? Without the teachings of Christ there is no salvation. It is said a stroke of the cane is enough for the wise. Let those who have ears hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the entire world. May my peace and blessing abide with the entire world. Amen. Thank you Father.